It's Friday. You got go to go studio. Imagine if that's what happened. Like they just had someone like gulp that word out. Isn't that like organized crime studio? <laughs> All right. Anyway, hello everyone. Happy Friday, and welcome back to Yakuza Four Remastered. Today we're in. I don't know if it's the last arc, but it's uh, we're definitely getting somewhere in the story of Tani Mura. Specifically, we're going off to the police HQ today. I don't. I don't care about larceny. Uh, I'm all set. But we pay our own cab there. Headquarters might start asking questions if we file an expense report. Yeah, that's that's fine. This room. Oh, I actually get to walk around in it a little bit. Examine. Nope. This seems kind of random. Not it. <laughs> so how deep does this go? Can I... Okay, it's just this one row. Hey, I think I found it. You did? The Assault on Yoshiharu and Yoshiharu Ueno. One. Case overview. The attempt on Yoshiharu Ueno's life was carried out on April 21st, 1985. Shortly after 12 o'clock noon that day, a lone gunman armed with six revolvers burst into a ramen shop located in Tokyo's Suginami Ward. Yoshiharu Ueno, chairman of the Ueno Sewa clan, was one of the 20 men shot inside and one of the two who survived. The gunman was one Taiga Saejima, a 20-year-old member of the Tojo clan. On the day of the incident, Ueno had just been released after serving a two-year prison term. With him were several top members of his clan. This report is missing something, just like Katsuragi said. According to him, him he should have been he should be unless it's a killer, but all this left all this here's the part Saejima played. Two, investigation. The Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department formed a special investigation team led by detectives Taiga Tanimura and Junji Sugiuchi. Junji Sugiuchi, is that a Korean name? That and Sugi. Oh, that guy. They're with the case together? Why, well, I haven't heard this before. The hell's going on? Huh. What did you find out? More than expected. Let's go. What? Already? Yeah, I have a good lead. No point wasting any more time here. We're just gonna go ask his boss, I guess. Or is it his boss? His Sugiuchi was like chewing him out before, so I assume that's that's his boss. I have a few things I need to check out. Why don't I see you later? That's fine. I'll be back at the station if you need me. Just don't do anything crazy. You hear? Your father wouldn't want you going out guns blazing over this. Who would it go that far? Wait, what? Did I just hear my own echo? Go head back to home for now. Sometimes I adjust this. One, one moment. Hmm. All right, never mind. I, I just checking my audio settings to make sure I'm not piping my audio to myself because that was weird. Okay, I need to collect my thoughts. Okay, good. We're, feels like we're in a home stretch. Thing reported on Pink Street. This thing over here. Larceny. There you go. Perp ran off down this alley. Took the person my granddaughter's. Not me. Or whatever she said. This is a chase? Got you now. Don't move an inch. Damn, a cop. You'll never take me in. 
He doesn't even have the purse on him. Do, 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 do. Wow. Ooh, okay. I didn't know that they could, like, throw those like that. Out of my way, dude. <laughs> this is not working very well. This is, like, a super, super congested area. But I am making... Making some progress. Even if I'm, like, complete shit at, uh, this. There we go. We, uh, we just out stamina hit him. Perfect. Thank goodness I'm finding this bag. Whoa! Wow. Apparently, uh, the, the chase type things are pretty good. As far as rewards go. So I hope everyone's Friday was good. Um, mine was good, <laughs> productive. Um, oh, that's just a talk. The uh, the things that I mentioned last night on stream, I got some of those resolved to some extent, which is good. So I feel a little bit more at ease now. Um, that's all I have really. To say about that, besides, I'll uh, I'll probably feel better after Monday when I when I talk with some more people about some stuff related to it. So, yeah, um, I feel like I've somehow blundered in my. Yeah, you're supposed to go this way. But yeah, so you know, got that stuff straightened out, and then worked pretty closely with another another uh, co-worker of mine to get a bunch of stuff done and uh, it was good so overall like a really productive day and I've got plans for tomorrow and the next day for uh, getting breakfast with friends so looking like it's gonna be a good weekend oh Machan you're back how'd the thing go well I found the case report for the hit you did what did it say a lot of stuff I already knew Plus one new piece of info. Oh, Sugiuchi was investigating that case along with my dad. Sugiuchi? The same one that's always giving you hell back at the station? Mm-hmm. Talked to him more times than I care to remember, but he never once mentioned being on a case with my dad. And that's despite him knowing how bad I want the truth. Not the worst of it either. I'm starting to believe someone of the force did my father in. Katsuragi said as much when we went to, yeah, when we met yesterday. Another officer. Things just keep getting better, huh? Seriously. Why don't you call it a day, Machan? Even you need to rest at some point. You're right. I think I'll knock out for a while. You do that. Hey, Mei Hua, get Machan's futon ready. Well, that was a really short chapter. What? Chapter 3 was super short. Wasn't it just the police headquarter thing? the next day Boy. so are you gonna launch an internal investigation not yet something i need to do first but don't tell me you're taking off with the money <laughs> what kind of yeah i'm totally skipping town actually i'm taking it back to its original owner oh who's that some money lender apparently got an office on tenkaichi street called sky finance Can you imagine how much interest 100 million yen would rack up if i just let it sit yeah, forget that. Hmm. Bye, Martin. Have a good day. Huh, I'll try. See you later. Does he normally sleep there, I wonder? Like, does he have an apartment or is 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 his home that place? I don't know. Yeah, I also got, um, continuing my thoughts about the weekend here. I also got pizza for dinner tonight. So, that was nice.
been a been a hot second since I had some pizza. So I got thin crust today. Figured I'd go I'd go low on the uh, bread count. Toughness Emperor. A silver plate. And shoulder pads. All right, cool. Um, but yeah, I got thin crust with garlic, salami, and red and green peppers. So how's my health? It's full. Okay. So it's pretty good. Um, and for uh, for lunch, I just had a, a chicken breast. Which I cooked yesterday and then microwave and heated up today. All right, right. Sky Panis is right here. Hmm. So Sky Finance was here all along. <laughs> it's your boy Akiyama. あんた、秋山さんか。そうですけど。あんた、どこかで。あんた、この前の。そうか。あんたがやすこさんに金を貸した男だったのか。やすこ。やすこってリリちゃんのこと？どうしてあんたリリちゃんの名前を？That's her story. She didn't tell you any of this? No, nope, never asked. Figured it was something serious, but dang. Borrowing enough to put a hundred millionaires in debt, all to save your wrongfully accused brother on death row. Just wish she'd come to me earlier. Might have saved her from going down a dark path. Well, now that Katsuragi's broken his promise, we can at least put money I should arrest. Here, I'm sure she'd want you to have this. Nah, I'm good. Wait, what? Saying I won't accept the money. We're straight. Oh, okay, explanation please? <laughs> Regardless of how things went down, I lent that money to her. Is it only right that she'd be the one to return it? I don't know. Won't that leave a big gaping hole in your account? Detective, I have so much money I hardly know what to do with it. And I'm not interested in making more. As for the hundred million, I couldn't give a rat's ass if I never saw it again. Why? You see, I only lend money to people I feel are worth investing in. That way, I can see how my loan affects their life. And that's a much more meaningful reward than seeing numbers on a spreadsheet. Not sure I understand your logic, but okay. Point is, I'm not taking that money. Not till she returns it in person. Where is she anyway? Okinawa. Her brother was transferred to a prison there a few days ago. She said she wants wanted to be near him on his execution date. I knew she was a keeper. What? Did I not mention? I fell for her. What, like, in love? Exactly. So I'd really like to see her again. Unfortunately, that money is the only connection between us now. If I take it back from you, the connection is cut, and I'll probably never see her again. Some say love lasts only as long as the money. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Pretty sad, huh? Almost as sad as this R.I. Son business. Alright? One second. Oh, that's right. Hello? Oh, Kido Shine. How you been? Found a Rai Son yet? I forgot that uh, his secretary left. What? Mishima? You mean the Ueno goon without a bullet in his head? Mm-hmm. Yep. Alright. Okay, leave it to me. I'll get back to you. Bye. Who was that? Heard something about finding Arai. That was Kido, Arai's right-hand man. What? I might as well tell you now. Helping Kido find his boss, Arai. He's a good kid. Why? Because I can't afford to lose a Raisan. Shiwata's boys are going to be nuts trying to find him. They're trying to appease the NSA by handing him over. We have to find him somehow before they get their hands on him. Of course, what you just said is true. 
been betting on the wrong horse. What's your connection with Arai anyway? Been backing him out of personal interest, not a mob front or anything. Still, this whole thing's been a real kick in the sack. Who'd imagine Arai someone be in bed with Katsuragi? I never paid him as the type to make a move like that. So what exactly was that call about? Hmm? Oh, that. Kido-chan was looking for Arai-san when he stumbled across the other way in a goon. You know, the one that disappeared after the shooting. There was another one? A guy named Mishima. He has sworn brothers with Ihara, the guy who Arai ventilated downstairs. So, what about him? He's asking for police protection. In exchange, he says he'll cough up all he knows. He wants the police? He wants a detective he can trust. One that can protect him from the Wenosewa clan. I think you should go talk to him. Me? Yeah, you're a perfect fit. I mean, based on what you said, the force sounds like a total snake pit. Plus, you can't count on sugiyuchi san or your superiors. What better person than you? Why should I? <laughs> Who knows? Might get you a step closer to the truth you're looking for. How do you figure? The recent shooting between the Oinosewa clan and the Kanemura Enterprises, right? Got this hunch it's all connected to the case your old man was working back in 85. There's just too much overlap between the main players to be a coincidence. まあ、そう。かつらぎは焦っていた。ドンパチ事件が起こる前に何とかして事件を揉み消そうとした<笑> お願い行こう。だが罠を張る。罠。何それ。それは三島ってのが本当にあのドンパチ事件の生き残りなんだったら何か知ってる可能性もある。まあ、それはそうだけど。なら三島の存在は葛城だけじゃなく警察の裏切
even though I can't like, you know, return it. I, I can't bring it with me to the docks. Mishma's supposed to be hiding in a warehouse on the docks. Okay, there my cat would draw the lead's attention. Who, who's this dude? Yeah, Mishma. He's that blonde haired fuck everyone is looking for. Find him ASAP, damn it. Quit fucking around. Top priority. I don't care if he gets killed. You just find him, got it? Oh, if he gets you killed. Oh, of course there's sub stories now. Just the one, though, it looks like. Alright. We will do the one sub story. It's Friday night, we've got some time. Though I am getting up pretty early tomorrow. My friend is swinging by around 8 a.m. to pick me up. And then we're going over to uh, this one place that gets pretty busy. Because I've never actually been there. But hopefully it will be good. I'll, uh, I'll probably let you know on Monday if it was. Public intoxication and violence in front of the Millennium Tower. That's okay. I can I can live. I just want to see if we have anything new. Uh, cold pack. Eleven incidents. Okay, cool. Like I really, I don't really need money, so not too concerned. Huh. Man, I don't feel like I've had anything new and interesting to talk about for all. I mean, I guess I've had new things to talk about, but nothing interesting. Oh gosh, the Dragon Palace. What a. What 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 is here? <laughs> what kind of sub story is here? This guy, affluent old man. Hello, young man. I noticed you've been making some excellent plays. Uh, I guess you need something, old timer. Oh no! Don't disregard me as some addled old fogey. I'm watching you, and I know a daredevil when I see one. Nothing like the rush of winning the jackpot, right? Let me get to the point. I happen to know a place where you can make some real money. Much more than you could ever scrounge up at a tame little venue like this. Interested? I don't know. That's pretty much the opening line of every sketchy deal in the book. Besides, do I look like I need money? Oh. Yes. Yes, you do. <laughs> and believe me, a man of my means would know. You definitely need the money. Maybe you even deserve it. But alas, I'm beginning to ramble. So let me give it to you straight. My game can earn you 3 million yen in one go. That pique your interest? I'll say it again. Making tiny bets here will get you to nowhere. Alright, hear him out. So I can really make 3 million, huh? <laughs> yes, that's right. I wouldn't lie. 3 million yen for one game. You may be young, but I like your spirit. That's why I decided to give you this opportunity. But if you're not interested, just say so. Now what's it gonna be? Sure. Alright, I'm in. Excellent. Then come with me. The game takes place a little ways from here. Can you spare the time? As long as you spare the change. I like that music that I was playing, though. Interesting setup. What is this place? Ha! Huh, looks bleak, I know, but don't worry. No one will serve us here. Come, come. Don't be shy. Have yourself a seat. So what is this game exactly? Patience, patience, my son. For our game, we will be using this. But are we playing red uh, the the thing? The thing with the shooting yourself and thing. What is it? Ever heard of the firearms and swords control law? It's still a thing, you know. <laughs> That's hilarious. You probably figured it out by now. But the game is Russian roulette. That's the name of it. The chambers hold six bullets, one of which is live. We'll take turns pulling the trigger. If you survive, you pass the gun. If you don't, then you'll just pass away. Stay alive until the end and you win the three million. Oh, you can quit any time after the first round. But if you do, needless to say, you'd forfeit everything. <laughs> don't tell me you're getting cold feet now. Even though I was, I doubt you'd just let me walk out of here. Are we doing this thing or what? Oh, boy. 
Then let the game begin. Is this, is this for real? <laughs> you really are a brave kid. Not a hint of nervousness. Or maybe you just fail to realize the gravity of your situation. You could be knocking on death's door. You look pretty smug yourself. I mean, the older you get, the less you care about dying. Hardly. Put simply, I've accepted my decisions in life, and I know what fate is coming to me. So why should I let a silly game like this bring me down? Man, he doesn't even angle it. Alright. Short turn again. What'll be, boy? I I mean we're I'm gonna go all the way through this. Um one second though. I was just messaged a moment ago someone wanted to they are asking me if I could see the harvest moon because apparently that's a thing right now I guess um, I don't think I can from my window I don't think I can uh, yeah no I don't think uh, no I don't think I have the right angle for my my room to see it so anyway sorry I just wanted to check because you know the moon is kind of one of those things that you gotta look at <laughs> um, okay I'm still in it's more like it well, the question is how long would that bravado last oh now he's doing it straight on Pull the trigger fearlessly, pull the trigger impassively, pull the trigger nervously. Let's random fearlessly. I wonder what each one is like. Oh, that's twice in a row. And you hardly so much as blinked. You truly are a daredevil. Uh-huh. Sure move. <laughs> that would make this bullet number four. Now there's a one in three chance that I'll bite the dust right here in front of you. If you'll allow me a moment. There we are. Now it's down to one and two. Does it weigh heavy on your mind? Leaving here in comfort or as a cadaver? So that you could opt out and leave as a failure too. One more shot and I'll be up to three million yen. But if things go wrong, I'll be down six feet under. The heck should I do? I bet you there's not even a real bullet in the gun. Oh, well, well, you're running it out to the end. That's what I like to see. Sure hope your gamble is worth it. same things again yeah 
Pull the trigger fearlessly, impassively, or nervously. Uh, does it matter? I'm, I'm just gonna keep being fearless, I guess. I think he wins. Looks like that money is all mine. So you caught on, did you? Caught on to what? Don't play dumb. You knew all along there were no real bullets in this gun, didn't you? Actually, I didn't know for sure. What I did notice was how little you were concerned whenever you pulled the trigger. What about all these suits standing around? What were they going to do if an actual bullet went off? I mean, they could have been hit by a stray. So it made me think this was all a bluff. All reasonings aside, I must say it takes quite a bit of nerve to trust your instincts like that, especially with your life on the line. So hop on my 3 million yen. Yes, yes, here it is, as promised. Do you actually get 3 million yen? Do, do you get to keep the 3 million yen? Thanks, and I'm gone. Sorry, the thanks, and I'm gone. Oh, and guess what? Is it fighting time? Holy shit! <laughs> In fact, it was a real bullet all along! <laughs> what is wrong with you? Ah, to be young again, trusting your gut and running full speed ahead without the crushing grip of fear to hold you back. That's what I've been after. Anyway, I learned a lot from you today. You going to arrest me under the firearms and swords control law? For what? I didn't see anything, except for this cash. Besides, I think I learned a little lesson myself about the value of life. Wow, you actually get 3 million yen from this. Wow. And there's another sub-story. Okay. That is a lot of money that we have no use for. <laughs> like, what am I going to do? Buy Torriners? I'm going to sell that plate. I wonder what this guy, if he sells anything that's like actually useful. Caviar skin bag. When did I get this? Oh, that would be for a uh, Saijima. Wow, cold packs are. They sell for a lot, huh? Thanks. Just out of curiosity, does this guy have anything that I should buy? Popularity bracelet, lucky bracelet, right. locker key radar. Oh yeah, those would make sense to have that. Oh, well, anyway. Watch like this next sub story be like, hey, I need 3 million yen, will you give it to me? Okay. I'm gonna swing around and check out that sub story. I do really want to keep going with the story though, so we'll, we'll see. Why are they following me? Hi there, do we know each other? Look like they're professionals. Guessing they work for Bridge. Doesn't seem like any closer than covering his true identity. Almost at the bottom of his dad. He can't go dying yet. Shady man. Shady men, more like, but yeah.
and crunch. These guys are pretty weak. Firearms and guns control law. Here I am. Even professionals run away with the tails between their legs. She got in touch with Saki chan about our next move. Oh, I forgot about this uh, storyline. Machan, I was hoping I'd hear from you, sweetie. Are you finally calling to ask me out? I appreciate your good humor, but there's no time to joke around. We need to talk about bridge. Oh, you're no fun. Well, okay. How about we meet up at Sherlock again? Sherlock it is. I'll see you there. Weak. <laughs> Those dudes. Champion district is one up, right? Oh, it's over a block. One up and over a block. But yeah, um... I watched the latest episode of Call of the Night today. And it had Nazna working in a maid cafe, <laughs> which is pretty great because she's so bad at it. <laughs> it was a uh, it was a really good gap moe. and we got to learn a little bit more about uh, Midori. Midori, the um, the vampire girl who. Uh, the other guy, like, that Kokun decided to say that no, he wouldn't really go out with her. Which pissed her off. So she, like, tries to show her good side at the cafe. It was funny. It's a, it's a fun show. I really do enjoy it. But I've got, um, I've got episodes of Made in Abyss as well as Shadow's House and... A bunch of other things that I haven't watched yet because I've been too busy consuming My Hero Academia. <laughs> uh, I'm in season four. <laughs> it's a good, it's a good show. It's got really good pacing that keeps things interesting and fresh. I'm happy. It's like good binge watching. You're late. You know, you're not supposed to keep a lady waiting. <laughs> Sorry. So that's what Yabe-san left behind. Hmm, you're right. Afraid that alone won't be enough to catch our man. And here we were so close. Isn't there anything we can do? I could always infiltrate the syndicate and scope things out. What do you say to that? I say it's too dangerous. Oh, please. All I'd be doing is working my magic at an affiliated venue. Besides, now that I've seen the documents, what do you say I passed the point of no return? I get that, but what would you even do? I'll masquerade as a hostess. Sweet talk my way right up to the big bad bridge himself. Hmm. I don't know about that. Have a little faith. With enough makeup and the right dress, I could be your perfect femme fatale, and you know it. Well, you certainly have the charisma. Alright then. Just don't do anything cr too crazy. Where are you off to in such a hurry? Look into the relationship between my dad and this mystery man, Kay. I've got nothing to lose, so I was thinking I'd get my fortune read by that greedy old lady. <laughs> Naomi-san. Yeah, she really seems to know her stuff. I wonder what's in that crystal ball anyway. You know Naomi-san is actually an informant, right? Aha, I thought she seemed suspicious. <laughs> it's one hell of a cover she's got. Don't tell anyone, okay? There's a lot of risk involved in being an informant in Kamarocho. Why do you want to know about K so bad anyway? Kay's another name that pops up all over my dad's notebook. Just want to know what kind of person he was. Besides, that may be his own connection to Bridge. I see. Well, if I find out anything, I'll contact you. Thanks. Appreciate it.
she's gonna call me, isn't she? Like as soon as I get out of the champion district, I bet. King fight responding on the east. Right there. Fuck you. Where are these gang? Oh, right there. I'm with the police. You gotta think twice about fighting in the middle of the street. Oh shit. Let's fight the guy with the big mouth. Oh, am I gonna do both? Oh, is it only the big guy? That's a surprise. Wow, that uh, he went down quick. You know how to talk tough, but which family took in a fool like you? Can't let my anarchy hear about this. Please, just take this and don't tell. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, there's Saki. Or not. Oh, it's uh, it's the dude in Thier Square. Okay, uh, let's, let's go get whatever reward he has first. I think yesterday or, no, the day before. Uh, Switch Boy has told us what it was. Some kind of like really good healing item, I think. We might, well, we might as well get it. We might need it. Yeah. Um, I still haven't figured out if I'm going to take if I'm gonna take the Japanese classes, because they, they'll be a review. Um, the, like last week I got a email. Wow. I got an email from uh, my professor. Well, not actually professor. I don't actually know if she's a professor. My sensei, I suppose, for the language classes that I was taking at night before for Japanese. And they're offering uh, a course again. But it's one that I've already taken, so it would only be a review, which wouldn't be a bad thing because I could, you know, use it. Because I really haven't been studying at all. And like, having something to hold you responsible is, uh, is really useful for that sort of thing. Though, I know, uh, one way that would probably actually be, like, even more like an even better way to hold myself responsible for doing studying and those kind of things will be if I actually got a better camera and then like you got a hairy 3000 disgusting uh got a better camera and like got some kind of setup that would let me study on stream and then I could work through like parts of the book I have and stuff like that and practice that way and you know maybe even do better for kanji as far as like reading goes and whatnot, because if I interacted with the chat at all, and if they were talking in Japanese, then it would require me to actually be able to read. Because I mean, I did, um, I did do the studying before while I played Celeste, when I was working on the golden berries and stuff like that. And that was pretty decent. It was not quite the same thing as actually sitting down and studying, so. Uh, he's got some weird rumors. Rumors that the Kamarocha Guard is simply a front and there were really black market arms dealers. Any idea where that might have started? I have got a clue. Why don't you just ignore it? Unfounded rumors will usually blow on, over on their own. That was my first thought as well, but then the police came to question me about it. I told them it's unfounded, but they claimed to have an eyewitness who said they saw one of our members involved in a shady transaction. Eyewitness testimony? Yes. Someone wearing our uniform who was dealing in arms. Honestly, don't you find it a little strange that an arms dealer would dress in such a conspicuous manner? Hmm, there may, may be something behind this. Ideally, we would take care of the problem ourselves, 
But though it's unlikely, it could be that one of our members is responsible. So I need your help. Since you're able to work outside our group, I was hoping you could do something. We'll pay your reward if that matter can be resolved. Alright, Akash. Akashi-san. I'll look into it. I really appreciate your help. Shade transaction. If anything gets reported, I should hear about it on my radio. Okay. Bulletin from HQ. Report of a suspicious transaction taking place behind Kotobuki Drugs. Delia is suspected to be a member of the Kamarocho Guard. Assistance requested. Kotobuki Drugs. a little ways off. But we can do it. Um, but yeah, the only one of, one of the troubles about studying in general like foreign languages is that if you don't really have, we don't have any time to like actually use it in practice, it doesn't, it's hard to stay motivated for that sort of thing. Um, and since Japan is pretty blocked off at the moment, it's, uh, it's not helping me too much, I guess. Oh, here we go. Like, I can't really go visit my sister when the country doesn't really let people in. Mm, thanks again. I really owe you for this. Talk to you later. No problem. <laughs> Listen, you sell my stuff without anyone suspecting the thing. Even if I raise suspicions, people will think it's the Kamarocho Guard. Hey. Yikes! Cosplaying and selling weapons? Real nice. Look, you're causing a lot of headaches by dressing up like that. But I'm sure you already know that, don't you? Some questions for you. So how about you come with me? Hell, I will. Shit, this is gonna be a real pain in the ass, because now I gotta get rid of you. Half expected him to have a gun. Okay, she's on. I caught the guy you're looking for. Want to come talk to him? You son of a... You think you can do this to me and live? Well, what do you say? Why are you doing this? But you assholes keep getting in our way, that's why. Don't give a damn if you're the neighborhood watch or whatever. But all that volunteer shit is screwing up our business. So I would decide to mess with you a little. <laughs> Kai, she's on word as your group's number gotten real low lately. We ain't stopping until your group's history. Don't you forget either, you'll get yours. Stop right there! Tanimuro-san, no need to chase him down. I think I've caused you enough trouble already. Come on, Akaishi-san. You okay with letting him go like this? It's fine. I'm sure they won't use the same trick twice. Happy as long as they're no longer damaging our reputation. As long as we keep our work honest, I'm sure people will believe in us. But those guys really seem like they have it in for you. That may be true. Still, after this incident, hope they'll rethink their actions. In any case, I'm glad we were able to get through with this without discovering it was one of our own members. You're a good guy, Akaishi-san. Guess as long as you're satisfied with how it turned out. Wow, 50,000 yen. We can't and your sisters be running into any more trouble. Man. We are, we're like, we're loaded right now. Like, absurdly loaded. Okay, abilities. Let's, uh... Let's think about this. Crazy arrests. You arm bar an enemy that's trying to get up. Sure. Let's also grab quick stand. <laughs> um.
I don't really do that that much. I'm grabbing an enemy then lock their arm. The heal isn't the worst thing you could grab. Um, let's just get better grabs because that's always a good thing, I think. And then maybe this. And roll after a quick step to evade attack. Use carefully as you lose a chance to counter attack. And we need the arm lock since we got the other thing. Um, I think that's it for now. That's it for sub stories. The only other place that could have sub stories besides a call from Saki would be Little Asia. So I I will poke my head in and see if there's any green orbs. Otherwise we're we're off to the docks. There is one back at uh, homeland. I think it's actually faster to just go around than it is to walk through. Alright, so uh, what's up? Yo! Oh, hi. Where's Mei Huang? Out shopping? No. I doubt we'll ever see her again either. Huh? Heck are you talking about? What's this? It arrived for her a few days ago. Found it on the desk. And this is relevant how? What? You want to meet your real father, come to West Park alone and don't tell a single soul. Or this, Mayhem went to meet a real father. You mean her biological father? Exactly. I'm sure she's always wanted to find out who he is. Come on, Salsa. You're the one raising her. Doesn't matter who her biological parents are. That's what I want to believe. But when it comes down to it, kids want to be with their real parents. Nothing more than a substitute. Let's save that kind of talk for later. For now, we need to figure out some things. For instance, if this letter's real or not, why would it not be real? Suspicious no matter how you look at it. First, why would anybody write to their strange child like this? They just come and see her. Second, what's with the don't tell a single soul part? Why all the secrecy? Guess I hadn't thought about that. From the looks of it, Mayhua could be in danger. Did you check out West Park yet? I haven't. Come on, man, wake up. What do you do if anything happened to her? I know that shit. The hell have I been doing? Whoa, hang on. Okay, off to West Park we go. This feels like a pretty short subquest. And if I remember right, West Park is to the south from here. Like it's the one that's uh, somewhere around here. I think. That's Public Park 3. Wait. West Park Purgatory. Oh shoot, I forgot I'm supposed to go to Naomi's too. Okay, sorry, we still have two sub stories to do. You know, if that was a better person. Oh, there's the public drunkenness. Uh, if I was a better person, I would probably timestamp things. Like when I make VODs. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably timestamp the uh, individual quests that we were doing or something. That way people who are more interested in just the story and that sort of thing could skip ahead. The only troublesome part about doing something like that is that I am not so much lazy, but more so uh, I don't like listening to the sound of my own voice. And doing that would involve like actually watching my VODs 
myself, which I don't really want to do. Get up. Morimoto got hit by a tree. That's fitting. Uh, the reason why being the kanji for Mori, I'm pretty sure, is a forest star tree. Well, depending on what kanji he uses, I guess. Hi. Uh, you gotta get up. Two fights right next to each other. Just punch him right in the dick. Oh, now he can go to sleep on the sidewalk. Or not. 10,000 yen. See, I don't think I even had this much money as Akiyama, and he's the one who should have this much money. Oh, there's Zhao. Alright, uh, what do you do with Mei Wong? She's probably already been sold off to some pervert by now. That last part, care to repeat that one more time? Hmm? Who the hell is this fuckwad? You came here to get your ass beat too? I'm with the police. Now start talking. Oh, you're with the police? Well, excuse me, officer. Thought you might have been a host or a male stripper or something. Maybe it was a gun, but his badge would be worth some money too. Guys, I don't exactly have time for this right now. Imagine talking to a police officer like this. Like, what kind of low-bred in, like, just absolutely insane Kawahara. Like, I'll tell you one thing, these are not the Queen's men. Oh, and Zhao's helping. I think so. I'll just punch him in the back of the head a few times then. Oh, he's good in a fight. He just holds him there. I want answers. Where is Mei Hua? Uh, some tough-ass dude took her away. Be more specific. Middle-aged guy in a suit. Put the girl in a car and they drove off towards the hotel district. Jeez, how are we supposed to keep up with a car? We run. Hotel district, right? Yeah, son of a... I'm coming, my hua. I suppose I could have taken the taxi. <laughs> but that's fine. I'll take the taxi down to Tenkaichi after this in order to go do uh, Naomi's thing. Although the hotel district is like straight north of Tenkaiji, so it's not that bad. God damn it. Hmm. I'm looking at, uh, as you know from yesterday, oh, nice. Uh, I mentioned that I keep, I keep this game in windowed mode in order to make sure that it doesn't go like tits up as far as performance goes and everything else like it did at the very start when we were first trying to play and um so i can see you know the rest of my desktop while i do this and i have four like notifications from discord i don't know why normally i barely get anything but there's really only a couple people that i talk to on a like regular basis and most of the time they're they're busy on Friday nights, mainly playing games of their own. So, all right, car hotel district. We're in the hotel district. Oh, found Zhao again. All right, all right. Nope. 
must be raining idiots today. How about you play it smart and get the hell out of here? Alright. Just cuff you and be done with it, but that's not good enough for me. What am I doing to you what you just did to Zhao? I'll get your ass over here. Oh, that's rich. Boy, get a couple of oil drums and some concrete ready for these two comedians. Get ready to kiss the bottom of the bay. Sounds like an awful way to go, honestly. Like, drowning in general sounds like a terrible way to go. Most ways, it's not like a terrible way to go if we're, all, if we're being honest here. But drowning especially. Especially in like, really, really deep water or something like that. Because like, just being stranded out to sea and having to like, you know, swim in some direction while waves buffet you around, you have no sense of direction, and you're like afraid of large fish or any kind of creature. Like you look down and you can see nothing but darkness. It sounds awful and horrific. It sounds like playing Subnautica. Oh, the other guy's gone. Oh, he lands in an arm like that's a cool one. South Sound, you okay? Get you to a doctor soon. Just stay, all right? Oh, finding Mei Huan comes first. Sorry that I'm skipping some of his dialogue. Mei Huan, Ma Chan, you're here. Of course I am. Glad you're okay. Was that you making all the commotion out there? No, you come this far. I have no choice but to kill you. So you use a fake letter to lure a girl you know won't be reported to the police? At least sell her off, is that it? Guess see that letter was just bait, but do you ever think about how this girl felt when she read it? <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have much of an imagination. I see. In that case, there's only one way to make you understand. Fuck them up, boys! What a face this guy has. He's so smug. His smug aura mocks me. I think we'll beat up his boys first. Oh, hey. Hey, Goku. How's it going? Welcome. Welcome you and your raiders to Yakuza Friday. Hope you're all doing well. Oops, almost missed that. Or oh, actually, I did miss that. Press the wrong button. I am uh, currently rescuing a small orphan girl who's over in the corner there. Also, is my Twitch chat broken by chance? The reason I ask is because I see the rating notification on the Twitch chat channel, but I also see nothing else. Oh, there we go. Now there's a message. Oh, you're a fan of the Yakuza series? They're great. They're so good. They're like the perfect mix of like intense like drama for the actual main story that's really, really good, and then all the wacky crap that happens everywhere else. Machan. It's alright now. We we're worried about you. I'm sorry. But that letter said I could meet my real dad. And I really, really wanted to. I know. Um Machan? Yes. How come it doesn't bother you? How come what doesn't? You told me you never knew your real parents either. How do you not let it get to you? It's all I ever think about. Who my mom is. What my dad's like. Why they decide to leave me here all alone. Didn't they care about me? At all? My ha. Just like you said, it doesn't really bother me. I don't care who my real parents are. My real father died long before I could remember, and the man who raised me is the one I've always called Dad. Yeah, I, I guess you always do talk about him like he was your real dad. That's right. 
That's because I learned a lot from him. And everything I am now is thanks to his guidance. That's why I don't consider my dad any less of a real father. Just because we aren't blood related. He's the one who raised me. He always put me first. So to me, he is my real dad. And you have a person like that in your life too. Huh? It wasn't easy for him, you know. Running around and getting beat up by those thugs. Especially when he's so out of shape. But you were the only thing on his mind, even when he was on the brink of death. Mei Hua! See, here he is. Mei Hua! Dad! Mei Hua, I was so worried. Did I tell you to always call me if you're going to be gone long? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Dad. <laughs> never been so exhausted in my life. Thank you, Machan. You never cease to amaze me. Officer Tanimura, that's your service. Now get to a doctor, okay? I gotta go. There we go. A beautiful little sub-story about family. 5,000 experience points to go with it. Hell yeah. Now let's go to a fortune teller. <laughs> I have another sub story to do before we continue the main plot. Uh, as far as ketchup goes, because I suppose it's probably worth giving some context to people on what's going on here right now. Uh, this is the... We're, we're, we're decently far in the game. Like three quarters ish or getting close to three quarters of the way through the game and right now we're playing as Tanimura who is this lovely cop right here who is a bit of a shady cop sometimes honestly he takes protection money from people and uh, might not be the best person but he's got a good heart like most of the Yakuza uh, protagonists and we're in we're trying to investigate what happened to our dad, who died like 25 years ago. And we're at the point now where it seems like there was some kind of like rat inside the police. And they're trying to suppress the truth about uh, a shooting that happened before and that's somehow connected to our dad's death. That has nothing to do with this sub story though. So. Hello, miss information dealer. I assume you heard that from Saki. Blessed with the gift of gab she is, or should I say cursed? There's a detective by the name of Yusuke Kaga who was inquiring into your father in Bridge. Kaga? So that's what he meant by K. Most likely. Yusuke Kaga. Well, that's one mystery solved. <sighs> the only thing is, the name K suddenly stops appearing in my father's memo book one day. Kaga was fired for mistakes still made on the job. Fired? After that, he opened a coffee shop. Foreign prostitutes were among his regular customers. Really? He had looked after them while he was still a detective. Even after he was fired, they would still come to him seeking advice. Does he still work at this shop? He died. 26 years ago. The cause of death? This report is accidental, but all the facts pointed toward murder. So basically, he was eliminated because he got too close to those foreign prostitutes. That matter is too cloudy for Naomi to see. I don't believe a detective my father respected so much would make careless mistakes. He shot and killed an innocent bystander by accident during one of his cases. I seriously doubt that's true. But why? Because crack detectives like him know how to use a gun. I doubt he'd miss his mark like that. <laughs> you seem to be a fine detective yourself. Your father said that Kaga had been set up. By bridge? That I cannot see, but during an investigation on illegal immigration, the trail led Kaga to a certain government official. Government official? A few of the undocumented workers arrested by Kaga had been issued suspicious looking visas. Many of them were bought under the table. Someone was selling visas? Foreigners need a work visa or a student visa in order to work in Japan, but the screening for such visas is very strict. Many foreigners end up buying them from corrupt officials for 400 or 500,000 yen. Naomi has even heard of some who pay a million. 
Why would anyone pay so much to come to Japan? Back then, we had a labor shortage. Employees never seemed to have enough workers. But most of all, migrant workers saw Japan as the promised land, where jobs grew on trees and weebs could frolic freely amongst the anime girls and maid cafes. So Kaga suspected that government officials of receiving money for, for issuing illegal visas? Exactly. So who was this official? Naomi does not know for certain. However, it may very well be Bridge. Yeah. This is a call from Saki, probably. Tanimura. It's me. Got some info on that group. You do? Let's meet somewhere away from prying eyes. How about the rooftop garden on top of a volcano? I'll be there. I take it that was saki -tron. Yeah. She was quite close to Kaga before he died. No kidding? You should talk to saki -tron if you wish to learn more about Kaga. Thank you. <laughs> you also be the Get to that rooftop garden. Don't keep Saki waiting. Altercation reported between a taxi driver and passenger on Tenkaichi Street. Well, we can't have that. Let's let's go help. Oh, you need to pay somehow. Shut up! I said I ain't got no money. Lost my goddamn wallet. Hey, no free ride, sir. Want me to book you right now? Ah! Eh, who the hell? Get lost! The angry drunks are uh, are a bad time in Kamurocho, it seems. Like, I know that this is a game, but it's... It's so weird to me to think about people, like, getting super drunk and then picking fights with people who are obviously police. I don't know, it just seems so weird. Okay, get up, sir. I'm just gonna fill my heat up nicely. Whoops. There we go. Bonk. And away you go. But yeah, how is everyone's Friday night going? Ten thousand yen. I am loaded. I have three point two million yen on me. You're alive. You know that's more than the Queen of England can say. So you've got a one up on her. <laughs> oh man, I just realized something. Do you guys ever uh, watch any any videos off of the YouTube channel Kay's Cooking? She's uh. I feel bad for not knowing this. I can't remember if she's Scottish or Irish. I think she's Irish. I think. I could be horribly wrong. But, uh... You don't watch many cooking channels? Uh, some people might not define her channel as a cooking channel. Not gonna lie. <laughs> one, one moment. This, this is important. Kay is cooking. I, I don't even need to show you much. You know, I, I can just show you the thumbnails. And it will probably tell you all that you need to know here. This is Kay's cooking. Great. Great stuff. Small donuts. Three days ago. She's making new stuff. Sausage and baked bean. Here it is. This one right here. 1.5 million views. And I've shown at least 10 people this. This is, this is a work of art. Okay. Hi people and I'm back cooking. This, this is Kay. She's, she's amazing. This is her spag bulg, I believe, as she calls it, where she puts the egg and whatnot. And then she, you know, wraps the spaghetti with the meat a whole bunch. See, see, isn't it? Isn't it beautiful? And then just dumps the sauce on it, cuts up some onion, you know, got to get your good stuff in there. Make sure it's real tasty. Season it with some pepper, all sorts of good stuff. And then uh, this is her son who's, you know, has to try them. Yeah. Well, that's fine. Probably, yeah. It's crunchy. Why don't you try to be that in bed then? <laughs> I love it so much. Another half an hour no, I... It's great. Like, I love how much her son is like... 
like him grading it is good like he's such a good sport about it all just like she's so nice and honestly some of her um some of her recipes aren't the worst some of it's all right but like other stuff like <laughs> you should see the looks on my friends faces when i show them stuff like this it's great i want to mark this as watch later because i want i want to see her make donuts that sounds kind of fun i bet you she has like a super like simple recipe to follow it's great anyway that's topical because if i can't remember if she's irish or scottish but i think either way both those countries are kind of uh feeling uplifted at the moment She's Scottish. Okay, thank you. See, I don't want to say that too loud that I can't, like, I don't know the difference because I know that uh, they, they wouldn't take it so well. Uh, the roof is here. But yeah, Kay's cooking is pretty great. You're probably not going to learn too much about actually cooking, but you're going to learn what not to do. The main place Saki Tone told me about should be around here somewhere. <laughs> Look at her go. Hi, handsome. Hey, don't surprise me like that. Sorry, honey. Things are starting to heat up, so I'm taking extra precautions. Everything okay? I told you. Past the point of no return now. But it was worth the risk. What'd you find out? Sugawa. He's the man behind the fake marriages. Counterfeit passports. Shady recruitment strategy. Just about everything horrible under the sun. So, is he bridge? I don't think so. But he's definitely affiliated. On Twitch, he streams. Sugawa runs a trading company called Urban Foods. They import food mainly from Asian countries. So that's how he gets all his local information. His on-site employees seem to be handling the recruitment operations as well. He learned all that so quick. Must have been one hell of a detective back in the day. By the way, I wanted to ask you. What is it? We heard all that, by the way. What? Thought you were just another shady lady, but turns out you're working with a cop. Nice knowing you, Officer Okama. Hmm? So you found me out. Guess I lost my touch. I have to work on that. saki John, you need to run. But, don't take this wrong, but you just be getting in my way here. If you say so. Meow. Alright, let's go. Shady man. Shady, shady men? Maybe this is secretly wall one dude. I don't know. Oh, Jesus. Well, all right then. No, no, th this guy goes down first. His name's Kawasaki. This man is a motorcycle. Explains the... Explosive power. Point. Whee! And drink. You know, I, I don't really know how this game works. Like, there's there's four protagonists, I believe. And I'm assuming that we're going to play as Kiryu whenever we finish Tar Tanimura's chapter. But um, from what I could glean from some of the things that were told me before, like, that there's a finale of the game. And I'm wondering if you play as everyone or if you have to choose one person to do the finale through with i'm curious how that's gonna work saki john are you all right Whew. i ran that much in ages oh you'll live now where's sugawa's company this urban foods went after him don't you think you're rushing things just a bit we're already been targeted by hitman if we don't act fast we'll only be leaving ourselves open to more danger time to go on the offensive there's that youthful optimism shining through all right, Urban Foods is in the building with the information booth on Sapon Street. Don't take them lightly. Sapon Street, got it. I don't know where that is. <laughs> Most of the time, the streets sound kind of familiar to me. Sapon, not so much. West Taihei. It's probably like one of the little back alley, maybe? Or maybe it's one of the ones over here. Park alley, park alley. 
Nakamichi, Tenkaichi. Maybe it's around here somewhere, actually. Where, where, where? I don't know where this thing is. Urban food should be on. Oh, maybe I can just find it with urban foods in the map. Looking for urban foods. Nope. Huh. Uh. Well then. Where's Sapon Street? Pink Street, Pink Alley? Kyushu no one center. Park Alley. Park Park Alley. Shibuku Hotel. Hotel. Uh Man. It's not this back one, right? No, that's that's Theater Alley. Huh. Maybe it's um wouldn't be underground, right? That wouldn't make any sense. I don't know where to go. Let's save. Sapon Street. I feel like it must be one of those like little alleys somewhere. I really hope that I'm not just like being dumb. Like I, I didn't miss it, right, Chuck? Taihe Boulevard. Soten I am so confused. Where, where have, oh, here it is. Okay, cool, it is close by. Random little alley. <sighs> but I had pizza for dinner tonight, so I'm in a, I'm in a good mood. Salami, red and green peppers on a garlic parmesan cr sauce on a thin crust today for fun. Just to mix it up a little bit instead of a pan. Tanimura. So you're Sugawa? <laughs> so you came all this way just to run into a literal dead end. Look, pal, you're in deep shit. I mean the deep end of deep shit. You're in over your head in shit. In fact, you're about to be buried in it. Just like that corpse of a rider. I'm surprised he didn't say shit one more time. Hmm. Bonk. We're gonna be like a horror movie here. Just storm into the place and destroy them all. Sorry, Max. Oh no, you don't. Carl. <laughs> and Billy. I, I love these dudes' names, like it's all the foreigners. Here's Tony, soprano. Oh, this one doesn't really look Italian. Samson. And plump. Cool. I don't really, really went to town there. There. Mission accomplished. You know the guy they call Bridge, right? You're shit out of luck. I don't know a damn thing. Okay, let's make a deal. Hmm? Give up Bridge's identity and promise to never get involved with crime again. And I'll forget about everything you've done. Or you can rot in a jail cell. Your choice. Will you promise you'll never tell anybody I talked? Sure. The real name of the man they call Bridge is Yuji Kat Katsura. 
Yuji Katsura. He is the chairman of the Asian Women's Friendship Association. Friendship, huh? So they use that as a front to hide the terrible things they really do. If you value your life, you should run. We can't arrest Katsura, Katsura based on Sugawa's statement alone. Right. Can't afford to make any stupid moves until we get some hard evidence. <sighs> He's completely hidden his trail so far, so he must be really sweating balls by now. A man like that can never let his guard down. I meant to ask you this before, but I heard you were close to Detective Kaga before he passed away. What? Who told you that? Naomi. Oh, she did, did she? Could you tell me more about him? I helped Kaga sound out after I quit my detective job. At the cafe he ran? Yeah. I used to counsel sex workers that came there whenever they had problems. But then the syndicate found me out. How? Kaga-san. He was involved with them too. Was he on their payroll? Possibly. If he was, then why would they kill him? Because he fell in love with a certain woman. One of the illegals? Yes, a woman from Thailand. They killed him when he tried to help her escape. But you never sold yourself out, and you're still helping immigrant women. There will always be women who find themselves in trouble. Somebody has to be there for them. Dang, you're a true hero. Don't you mean heroin? <laughs> right. And a real human being. They keep trickling. Just like these little bits of sub story to us over and over again. What's. Is it in here? Hi, Earth Angel. How you doing? Hi, Mama. Uh, can I get. Premium Malt actually heals the most. Labier won Japan's first gold award in an international competition, then defended the title for the next two years. Premium beer by Japanese and world standards. Unyielding commitment to quality ingredients and Suntory's years of brewing know-how produce a delicious, almost magical flavor. A frosty glass of this beer while nibbling sashimi or enjoying a Blu-ray movie on your day off. Now that's what I call living. I'm partial to uh, Asahi Super Dry. As well as, even more than that, Sapporo. Sapporo is probably one of my favorite uh, Japanese beers. Thanks, Mama. See you later. Apparently the, uh, the sub-story was not in there. But it's supposed to be, like, right here. Like, it's on the map. Maybe it's... <laughs> I like this person's humming. Wait, no, I was just... Okay, you know, hold on. Let's, let's talk to this person. Uh... Nope. I don't really like leaving sub stories left undone because they give good experience typically and you know are useful things to do. Maybe I should just try to like leave? Gotta be something about it. Here we go. Is it, is it just a phone call probably from Saki? Oh it's Naomi. Who's this? It is I, the great Naomi. Naomi-san, how did you get my num- <laughs> Remember who you're speaking to. Anyway, I found out what Katsura is doing behind the scenes. Saki-chan told you about him, didn't she? You don't have to get involved with this, you know. Did I ask you to look after me, boy? If you want to know more, come see me. Okay, I owe you one. Okay, that was that, was that sub-story. Ah, <sighs> man. 
What a what a sub story. Again, I think the the variety of the variety you get between all the different so like stories in Yakuza as well as the main story. I feel like that's part of the reason why these games are so well loved. Like there's the wacky stuff, sure, but then you also have stuff like this that's like pretty uh that's decently heavy when you stop and think about it and that kind of thing. Like we have we have like human trafficking going on and people getting smuggled around and then sold off. On a lot of shady shit. I knew you would return. Oh, saki chans here too, huh? Well, you might as well just tell me about Katsura. The Asian Women's Friendship Association was merely a front for Katsura. What do you mean? He was using it to connect with various Asian political figures and then profit handsomely from Japanese overseas development assistance. But there aren't but aren't associations like that non profit? He contracts out all work to companies run by relatives. There are fourteen of these companies all, both big and small. Hmm. Doesn't anybody notice that? That is at least it's at least a little bit suspicious. A little hush money police and politicians works wonders. But that would take an awful lot of cash. That's where the foreign prostitutes come in. Katsura is extorting money from them like there's no tomorrow. You have proof of this? Finding proof is your job, detective. But if Katsura were the sex industry kingpin known as Bridge, it would all start to make sense. So he's hiding behind a banner of compassion while secretly exploiting immigrant women. The problem is, how do we get close to Katsura? I have an idea. Do tell. I'll simply call the association and tell them I'm coming to see Katsura. Then... You'll wait for a hitman to show up and try to stop you? Aren't you putting yourself at an unnecessary risk? What choice do I have? I need some way to pick up his trail. Will you lure the hitman out around here? Too crowded. Their kind only strike when there are a few people around. I'll head over to Pink Alley after I call. That's where the attack will take place. Yep. Can I count on you for backup? Leave it to me. Do I actually have to make a phone call? I should hang around Pink Alley, okay. No. I was kind of expecting them to show the show the phone call. But it's fine, I guess. Uh I forget if Pink Alley is the next one over. Yeah, it is. Tobacco department. Kind of makes me think about Mad Men. <sighs> Are you ever finished watching that show? This is not related to the quest. I got through a, at least a couple seasons, I think, of Mad Men before I stopped watching it. Oh wow, the boy band's here. In sync isn't looking so good these days. Also, apparently there's like a harvest moon to die. Like not the video game with the farming, but I mean like the actual moon is uh, I guess uh, Harvest Moon tonight, something like that, so I assume it's big and red, if I remember right. I can't see it from my window, so I'm just kind of guessing, and obviously, uh, you know, I'm not gonna walk outside right now. <laughs> but like, it comes to mind because thinking about smoking and whatnot, could go out. Go out, wander the streets for a smoke, and look at the moon. Though probably not. I have a singular cigarette in my home. Let's save. Like, I don't know... 
I don't really know if anyone else does this. Probably someone does. But, uh, like, I have, uh, <laughs> I used to keep a pack of cigarettes just as my emergency cigarettes for if I was really irritated. Because sometimes it was nice to go, you know, wander around a little bit and blow off some steam. Literally. But I don't really do that that often. Here you are, right on schedule. And I have a, like I said, a single cigarette left. So, though this week has been pretty stressful. All right, I'm gonna skip the dialogue here. <laughs> Say your prayers, bitches. No escape now. Leave this to me, Saki-chan. It's for you idiots. Hurry up and bring it. Don't have all day here. I'm a little bit sad that uh, we don't get to just have Saki here during the fight like we had Zhao during the other one. Because Saki's probably pretty, pretty good in a fight. Excuse me. Hmm. I found out today that there's a... Uh, like, you know how there's Wally? And all those other AI image generators floating around nowadays and such. There's a there's a project called Waifu Diffusion, where they've been training uh, they've been training an AI network to generate images of anime girls. <laughs> Back when I was cracking heads and solving cases with the Hiroshima PD, they had a little nickname for me. Ever heard of Saki the Demon Asshole? No, of course you haven't. Listen up, good you little shit. What's happening? You fucking brain dead? Make the goddamn call. I will pry open your skull like a sea otter cracking an oyster and canvas the street with your head goo. There's no need to go that far. Fine, I'll do as you say. Me. Donnie Mero's a done deal. That's right. Good boy. Well, how was I? Scary as hell. Make one badass detective. Donnie Murray here. I have some information for you. What? Next Monday, Katsuru will be holding a symposium at none other than the Millennium Tower. But would you believe it? The name of the symposium is Empowering Asian Women. Katsuru is apparently finishing his preparations there as we speak. Rare for him to be out in public like this. Perfect. That's my chance to take him out. I would exercise extreme caution if I were you. Appreciate the tip. Now I've got his ass. I'll watch you three while you do what you have to do. This is what this guess this is what they've been waiting for. Best of luck, hun. Thanks. Hopefully I won't need it. Oh, we're just it just skips us right ahead to the Millennium Tower, huh? Chairman, we're expecting about five thousand visitors on the day of the symposium. How about our VIPs? Three government ministers, including the Minister of Health, Labor, and Welfare, and four other representatives from various industries. <laughs> Excellent. So we have a major PR boost for my foundation. Nothing like a couple of men with money to run the Asian Women's Friendship Association. Wouldn't you say, boys? Hey, Katsura! Masayoshi Tanamir, Community Safety Division, Kamurocha PD. Any of that ring a bell? The devil? What's wrong? Did I scare you? Feels like you've seen a ghost. What is this nonsense? I don't have time to play games here. And playing dumb won't help either. I've almost killed several times thanks to you. You're delusional. Decided to see the force hire a detective who suffers from bouts of paranoia. <laughs> Think I'm lying? How's this for proof? Took this phone here from one of the men you sent after me. Watch what happens when I try to contact the guy he called to report the hit. Finally tracked you down, Katsura. Or should I say, Bridge. Why you? Hurry up and silence this fool. Just four guys?
No funny names this time, though. Here, I... Boink. <sighs> Kaimura's face looks so bored when he's doing that. Like, I don't know if anyone else has been paying attention. But, like, look at his face when he's down on the ground with their arm. Like, it's so... Like, he's... He, he has, like, barely any expression. Oh, Kitagawa. It's Marine's dad. From my dress-up doll. Who knew her dad was in such a shady business? His heat, his heat really goes up really fast, really, really quick. Oh boy. There we go. 26 years ago, you, made, you murdered a detective named Kaga, didn't you? And what about it? He was one of your own, wasn't he? Why'd you have to kill him over something so trivial as running away with the woman you loved? <sighs> Don't come any closer. Wait! Alright, chase sequence time. Time to throw bottles at a politician while running down the street. What a what a time to be alive. Get back here, you crook. You hack. Wow, this bottle like is holding together pretty well, huh? Okay, here here they come. Okay. I jumped into it, that's fine. Kick him in the butt. There we go. That's one crooked politician down. Does one consider like people who run associations politicians? Is that right? Give it up, Katsura. You're done. Damn it. This moron has nowhere left to run. Yeah, he's still limping around like a hurt animal. Dude's in full denial. Get back! I'm warning you! Look, even if you do shoot me, my friends are clued into everything. They'll hunt you down and bring you to justice. Kaga, that bastard. But it seemed like he was under my thumb. Then I had to go investigate me behind my back. What? In my world, there's no worse threat than someone who can't be bought. And you killed him just for that? Yeah, I killed because he was stupid. Instead of saving his own hide, he let himself get caught by me. All to protect that woman and her kid. Kaga had a child? Yeah, that Thai woman he fell in love with. After she discovered what our organization was really all about, tried to have her silence. But she fled back to Thailand after having her baby here. So I planned to use her baby as bait to lure her back to Japan. Then I found out Kaga hid the baby somewhere. He hid the baby. Probably placed the baby in someone else's care. Never heard about the brat at that. What? Watch it be Meihua. So his child grew up without knowing him or where they came from. If Kaga hadn't tried to protect his woman and his kid, he would have had me by the throat eventually. He was one of the few men I truly feared. I'll give him that. Matter of fact, you're the spitting image of him. Or is that just a coincidence? Oh shit. So now it's all over. It is. My dad mentioned something cryptic at the very end of his notebook. It was about taking care of the treasure that Kay left behind. 
finished, so he did. Saki-chan. You told me that if I kept looking at this case, I'd find out things about my past. I guess you already know by now. Yeah, my real dad was Kaga. Yes. Now it's true that Kaga-san let himself get corrupted by money, but he hoped you would never lose your sense of justice like he did. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's funny because Tanimura takes a lot of money from people and is kind of like a... Sh he, he's... He's not a straight-laced cop. That's why he named you Masayoshi. Because your name means justice. That makes sense now. Hope you're not too shocked by the truth. Like I told you before, I really don't care who my real dad is. How can you still say that? I grew up reading this notebook ever since I was a little boy. It's the closest connection I've ever had to any sort of parents, real or not. Because of the words of both your real father and your foster father. Right. Tells the story of two brave men who gave their lives to fight against a giant crime syndicate. Oh, well, guess I'll see you around. Oh, almost forgot. Hmm? Heh. <laughs> Just wanted to give you a little token of my affection. Here you go. Gotta seal the dragon. Hmm. Oh, come on. Don't make me say it. Just don't be a stranger, okay? I won't. And whenever you get the chance. Maybe we could sit down together sometime and you could share some stories with me of my old man. Did not expect this story to end up telling us who his parents are. Also, holy crap, 10,000 experience. And we've completed all Tony Murr sub stories. We are now a Tony Murr <laughs> Oh, good. All right. That's great news, because it means that we don't have to be distracted anymore, and we can just go do the rest of the story. Worth doing, though, the sub-stories that we just did. Um, you know what? Sure, I'm going to get both of you the spirit. Attempted coercion at an adult entertainment channel on East Taihei. Eh, that's fine. I'm gonna ignore it. We have more than enough money, and we've already finished the whole like little sub story thingy. Who's it around the uh, neighborhood watch? So. Oh, oh, we're doing this move. Oh, it wasn't just that one guy. Wait, we're good. We don't need to keep going with the animation. Wow. Cold plate. Last time I eat sewer cheese. What a what a world these guys live in. Okay. So we're gonna keep going. I think that we have a pretty decent chance of completing Tanimura's like chapters today. Assuming that this next main story part doesn't take too long. So let's go to the docks. Time to keep going with the main quest. Mishima? 
あんたがそうだ。お前は上の世話会の三島だな。Oh, are you a detective? Yeah, I'm here to place you under protection. Okay, and you really think you can keep me safe? Only if you keep your part of the bargain. Give me the dirt on what the w e w a n t to say what's been doing, doing, doing behind the scenes, and I'll make sure you stay out of harm's way. Then, that's a deal, I'll talk. It's like this Me and Ihara were ordered to make a scene at Club Elnard. Why? Don't know. Nobody said. Katsuragi just told us to stir shit up, so we followed his orders. But then that prick showed up. Akiyama from Sky Finance? Yeah, Akiyama. Fucked up the entire game plan. I remember nothing after he busted that bottle over my head. Next thing I knew, I was in the Champion District. Ihara must have carried me over. Woke up surrounded by garbage bins. No sign of Ihara anyway. Why the Champion District? The two of us get shit faced there a lot. That and is close to Elnard. Yahara must have been freaking out. Bet someone was chasing him if he ditched me like that. Started looking for him so I could find out what happened and figured out our next move. I had no idea what a shitstorm this whole thing had become. Anyway, been walking around Kamarocha for a while when I found him. His body, anyway. Practically puked when I saw that. Couldn't even process what was going on, you know? All I knew was I was scared shitless. So I ran as far as I could. I ended up at the Anastasio's headquarters, but I barely remember how I got there. Found an empty room there to chill the fuck out. Thought I'd catch my breath and try to digest all the shit that just went down. That's when I heard the Katsuragi. He was in the next room talking to somebody on the phone. What'd he say? He didn't say I heard everything. He was in another room. He'd already been talking a little while. But it sounded like he was talking to the cops. The word police came up a lot. But it's what he said next that freaked me out. He said, ER is dead, just as planned. We'll get rid of Mishma as soon as we find him. Got the fuck out right then and there. Thankfully, before anybody saw me. Been keeping it low pro ever since. Knew it. Arise here with me. No, it's Sugiuchi. You're one surprise after the next kid. Getting this close to the truth, and all by yourself? Damn near impressed. You don't seem too phased by all this. Let's just say I had a feeling you'd show up. <laughs> so you baited organized crime to see if you could lure out the traitor? Something like that? And you're not surprised to see it's me. Not really. Though I can't say I wanted it this way. How'd you know it was me? Gambler's dumb luck? Detective's hunch? Suguchi san, a good hunch comes from keen observation. Did you learn that back at the academy? <laughs> Must have slipped my mind. So, what tipped you off? I've known you were no ordinary cop for a while now. It's your fancy shoes. They always look brand new. Not exactly practical for a homicide cop working murder scenes. Normal cop buys cheap shoes and wears them into the ground. The watch, too. Way too expensive for a detective's salary. It's so high end, I doubt your average person's ever even heard of the brand. And if they did, their heads would explode at the price tag. Huh. Well, don't you have it all? Instincts and a sharp tie. Please, Sugiyuchi san. You really think it was all me? Hmm? You haven't exactly been subtle. The rescue stage when I met with Katsuragi, sending Chief Isai ahead to Homeland. Almost felt like you've been wanting me to catch on. What are you talking about? You've been working with Katsuragi for the last 25 years, but now you've grown tired of your little partnership, haven't you? 
paid a visit to Archive Room 13. Saw the report on the way I say I hit. What? You and my dad were both assigned to that case. Only the two of you could have covered up something as big as Katsuragi butchering 18 of his own people, and I know it wasn't him. You were ordered by someone up top to alter the facts, weren't you? All to protect your good friend Katsuragi. Tell me I'm wrong. You shut your goddamn mouth! You don't know the first fucking thing about that case, or about me. ここまでだ杉内。お前が上の聖和会の勝ぎと内通していたことは割れている。無駄な抵抗をやめて、おとなしく投稿しろ。くそ。杉内さん。もう終わりにしましょう。I mean, we just saw you shoot a guy. これが警察で組織が引き込いて守ってる正義ってやつだお前にも分かったかじゃあな俺は撃てるぜ谷村法律がどうこうって問題じゃねえ要はこれが俺の警察官としての正義だ<笑> アニムラお前やっぱり見込みがある男だぜ現場で三十年近くデカやってる俺が言ってんだ間違いねえよそれはありがたいね分かったそれじゃあお前の正義ってやつがどこまで本気なのか味わしてもらおうか待て they might not be able to shoot, but like, they could stop him and arrest him. What? Oh, there's a boat. Do, do I get to chase him on a boat? Oh, sweet! Shoot is why quick attack is- wait, there's a quick attack stop? Oh god, oh god, this is touchy. Th this is super touchy, holy shit. Do I have unlimited ammo? Is this a wall? No, it's not. Okay. Wait, I'm curious about what the X move is. Mm. 
No, 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 stop being stuck on it. Give, give me a little bit of rubber banding help, please. Oh, jeez. What is that, a, a bomb? I, I swear I'm not like the worst in this game. But this, this thing is super touchy. Oh, the X button is like you speed up and ram. Which one does better damage? Actually, I haven't been paying attention. Say, like, like these are this is chip damage. Oh, yeah, okay. The ram does pretty decent damage. This is pretty, pretty good though. Like not the most engaging of gameplay, but cinematically, this is really cool. And I don't think we've had a vehicle chase in uh, Yakuza before, where you actually were in control of the vehicle. Got him. I would have gone for the leg, honestly. Good job. Sugiyuchi. Oh, press the B button. Okay. What kind of style does he have? Because he's glowing red. There we go. Trying to get my heat up so I can like do some counters and whatnot. I 
shoot, his heat's getting up there now. What, what is this move you're doing? Crazy man. No, he's draining my heat. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. <laughs> hey, hold on. I have a lot of significance. Moderately charge up my heat. That sounds good. That was moderate. Really want him to like come at me so that I can actually parry him and get a good hit in. God damn it. I don't feel like I'm doing particularly well here. God damn it. All that heat I had. Get, get off me. God, he really doesn't take like no for an answer here. So quick. Get, get off me. What? How did you even get that hidden? Get up, Suiji. Don't I have the quick step up thing? Or the quick rise or whatever it is? have it, don't I? Yeah, quick stand. Like, I can't use heat moves on him for some reason. Like, normally we get a heat action... Normally we would get a heat action after doing that or doing, like, a bunch of different things that none of them are showing up. There we go. Can I get a heat action in now? Thank you. Just, just barely, barely one. Stop it. 
shoot. He knocks, he puts you into like that confused state so easily. There we go. God damn it, stop it. No, 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 let me go, let me go, let me go. There we go, finally gives me a heat action. Gotta make the most of it. Whew. Good thing I had all those healing items. He told you already.
Use rubber bullets. ゴムダンですよ。死ぬほどじゃないですが、威力は相当なもんだったでしょう。カツラギ。お前何？カツラギ。てめえ、何して？ ちゃんと入院しねえとな。大丈夫だ。しばらくしたら目を覚ますだろう。あとは頼んだぜ。以上が西島大河による上野義春襲撃事件の顛末です。なるほど。ご苦労だったな。いえ、これが自分の仕事ですから。ほう。嘘の報告書を書くことが金。何のことでしょうか。無理がありすぎるよ、杉内君。この程度の報告書で私の目をごまかせるとでも思ったのかね。あの狭い店内、犯人の西島が二十人もの組員とやり合うには、かなり無茶な乱闘になったはずだ。当然、西島も抵抗
カスラギという男が仕組んだことだったのではないかと思うどうかね西島大河はカスラギに利用されただけだこのことに有能な君が思い至らなかったとはとても思えないのだがねそれは<笑>杉内君一つ君に頼みがある頼む私に桂木伊佐を引き合わせなさいそうすれば今回のこの事件君の報告書通りの結末にするがどうだね Corrupt Cup ムナカタひょっとして今の警視庁副総監のああ俺らのバックにはあのムナカタ副総監がいるこれでお前も分かっただろう敵は果てしなく強大な存在だ What if I fight him shirtless on top of the Millennium Tower? これで楽になった三十年だ三十年も偽りの自分を演じてきたんだ誰にも話せず誰にも理解されずになこの苦しみがお前に理解できるかあんた俺は一体何がしたかったのか25年前のあの日宗方を桂木に引き合わせたあの日から俺は警察と極道両方の犬になっちまった本当の自分の目的なんてもうすっかり忘れちまったよお前はいいなデカとして生きられてえ Really? He's not 偽りとはいえ30年もデカやってるとそれなりに人に感謝されたり喜ばれたりすることもあった俺はその度に悩み苦しんだ果たして俺は何がしたいんだろうってな事件を解決するや人から感謝されるそんなりゃ頭じゃダメだと分かっていても心の奥底では嬉しいという感情を覚えちまう俺もさお前みたいに悩んで苦しんで走って力いっぱいでかやってみたかったな杉内さんはいおしろよお前は自分の力で父親の敵捕まえたんだどうした一つ教えてくれうん宗方の目的ってのは何だ宗方はあんたへカツラギを使って何をしようとしているんだお前の目的は俺を捕まえることだろうそれは達成できたんだこれ以上は知らない方がいいダメなんだよそれじゃそれじゃダメだって親父が言ってる気がするんだまだ事件は終わってないだから俺は胸方を捕まえるそれを知ったら日本の警察すべてを敵に回すそれでもいいのか親父の死の真相を知るために刑事になった時から覚悟はできてるそうか
I feel like he's gonna get shot before he gets to say anything. And it makes me sad. Yep. God, I hate being right all the time. Let me guess, Arai? Doesn't really look good for him either. Oh, there's Munakata. そうか。杉内が死んだか。ええ。命令通り始末しました。Damn. Part three complete. Jeez, what a way to end. Holy fuck. The Shima unlocked a detective's end. Ho. Oh. Ho ho. We'll watch the opening cutscene, but we're not we're not doing any more Q stuff besides that tonight. We'll save that for next week. Oh bright. He lived. Hey, Haruka, we got another bloody guy on the beach. You mind? Actually, she knows this one, so.
つまねえな迷惑かけちまって。あの子は。ああ、はるかか。あいつはあんたのことが嫌いなんだろう。なるほどな。まあ、無理もね。ところで浜崎お前脱獄してきたのかどうして脱獄なんかしたんだそんなことをしてもまた罪を重くするだけだそうだろう何日か前西島という男がここを訪れたその時お前の名前を口にしていたんだその話本当かああそうか西島のやつちゃんと生き延びていたのかそうかやはり知り合いなのかああそれで西島はどうしたちゃんとカムロ町には行けたのかああ、向かった。その後無事にたどり着いたかまではわからないがな。そうか。そうか。お前、あの西島って男とはどういう関係なんだ兄弟だ。やつは俺の兄弟分だ。兄弟キルあんたにどうしても頼みがある何してるんだお前俺は兄弟を男にしてやりてだから頼む俺の最初で最後の頼み聞いてくれそう、アマザキ What do you want? Oh, kind of a long story, but Saijima. He's the guy who bumped off Yoshiharu, you know, chairman of the Uenaseiwa back in 85. Wait, that's. Yep. You spent enough time in Kamurochu, you're gonna hear the story. Saijima killed 18 men all by himself that day. That's what they say. Anyways, the two of us only just met, both locked up in a private prison a stone's throw away from here. What do you mean, private prison? I mean, the government's not involved. They put the contract in place, yeah, but the private sector's been running the joint since the day they broke ground. They call it Okinawa Penitentiary No. 2. Take it you never heard the name? No. I had no idea a place like that existed in Okinawa. They officially call it a correctional facility. That's a little bull. Dumping ground for washed up Yakuza they want to snuff out for good. It was only a few days ago that Saijima got shipped down for whatever shithole they had in Tokyo. Which is when you met. Bingo. And you two planned the jailbreak together? More or less. Though I'm the one who came up with the idea, if I'm being honest. Why do you pick Saijima as your partner? You saw him, right? Guys built like a freaking brick wall. More importantly, I knew what really happened back in 85. The truth. Go on. Back in the day, Saijima was real tight with Majima. Yeah, that Majima. And that way, in a Sewa hit, the one where Saijima slaughtered those 18 guys, that was originally going to be a two man job. Saijima and Majima. Majima s a n d Saijima were accomplices? Yep. But the day of the attack, Majima never showed. That betrayal is how I convinced Saijima to break out with me. Explains why Saijima was talking about revenge when he was here. It's all bullshit, though. Majima would never have betrayed his brother. They're both set up. By who? A guy named Shibata. Was heading up a third tier Tojo family at the time. Problem is, Saijima got split up before I could got to tell him what really happened. I think I guess the favor you want. Yeah, you gotta tell him the truth, no matter what. Why is it so important? As it stands, Saijima's gonna try and kill Majima. Not only that, but. But. But I really respect him. He doesn't deserve to be living life in the dark, you know? Hmm. I mean, sure. I only asked him to help me bust out because of how tough he is. But he actually started trusting me during the escape. Me, of all people. Look, 
My lives are nothing but betrayal after betrayal. I've been on both sides of that coin. But two people looked beyond all that. Chose to trust me anyway. You and Saijima. Hamasaki. I want another chance to start over. Be a true brother to a guy who went out on a limb and actually trusted me. So I'm begging you, Kira-san. You gotta help me. One question first. What's that? Why do you need me to do it? Can't you go to Saijima all this yourself? Well, I... What is it, Hamazaki? この資金面での金の流れが書かれている。これは。そうだ。今から A year back when I was still sucking the Tojo clan teeth, found out that the top brass over the Tokyo PD had their hands dirty. Real dirty with tons of shady cash. But you can guess where I learned all that. The snake flower. Yep. They've been working with one of the top men on the force for years. Laundered his money through foreign banks and everything. Why go through all that trouble though? What did the police need with all the cash? What they needed was to build what one of their highest ranking boys called their utopia. Penitentiary number two. Right again. The idea was, they'd build a place to toss all the convicted Yakuza they round up, then go and make deals with those very same Yakuza. What kind of deals? Stuff like bribing people to commit crimes. Then when the cops came in and saved the day, everyone think they were the heroes. Crime would become a police controlled affair. That's absurd. Yeah, an absurd power grab. Whoever handled those crimes would get big brownie points on the force, end up rocketing up the ranks. Still can't believe the 10 billion Jingu was trying to launder through the Tojo. Was supposed to end up with the cops. Believe me, I was just as surprised when you, as you and I found out. Even with the money getting blown to high heaven, the paper trail alone is some serious shit. Honestly, the only reason I grabbed this file in the first place is because I wanted a little dirt on the warden. Something I could use to bargain my way out of there, you know. But I gotta say, never thought I'd stumble on a shitstorm this massive. Almost feels like it's out of my league if you get me. I show up on Tokyo PD's doorstep with this baby in tow and that'd be the last anyone ever hears of me. Hmm. Turns out this file's not the bargaining chip I was hoping it'd be. You're at Horus now. Well, why me? Because you were at the center of everything that went down five years ago. Hell, you even had to beat the shit out of your own brother at the end of it all. Then... Nah. Q? Come on, don't give me the silent treatment here. I just don't get it. Why did you show me that? I already told you. You gotta go to Kamurocho and tell my boy Saijima what really, there's more to it than that. I know there is. Besides, you would you would wound up in bar in no time without this bargaining chip of yours. So tell me, Hamazaki, what are you really after?
あんたにもう一度あの町の頂点に立ってもらいてんだよそうじゃなきゃ俺たちが命かけてきた登場会がなくなっちまうんだタイチーインダハウス。Get out of here, タイチー。Go to school. Yo! We're home, Uncle Kaz. Looks like you kids had a good trip. You enjoy yourselves? Oh, yeah. It was awesome. We hiked, went camping, even saw some old bones and stuff at a museum. Wasn't it super cool, Koji? Mm hmm. You gotta go with us sometime, Uncle Kaz. How was your grades trip, Aiko? Great! Why is why does her neck look kind of broken? They're like, who's this old guy? この子たちに近づかないでハルカおじさんは黙ってて私はねこの人のこと許したわけじゃないのおじさんは忘れたのこの浜崎って人は1年前おじさんのこと知ってたんだよ、right. 私それ目の前で見てたんだよ<笑>そうだよな俺は悪党だもんな浜崎。おじさんがどうなっても知らないから。Sup, dog. All right, let's save. That was a much longer intro than I、uh, anticipated it being. God, I was not happy to see Tai Chi. <laughs> Getting Yakuza 3 flashbacks. I don't like it. Alright, anyway.、Um, yeah, so. Yeah. Monday. Monday, we will begin Kira's chapter and、uh, see what's in store. It should be a good time.、Um, but for now, that's, that's all I got for you tonight. A nice, nearly three hour stream. Hope, hope you enjoyed seeing all the Yakuza good times. I mean, we had some sub stories. There, there wasn't really a lot of.、Um, there wasn't any wackiness tonight, really. Most of it was pretty, pretty, pretty good. I mean, we had human trafficking sub story resolution, a couple other things we had, like. Orphanage family, like adoption troubles. Or not troubles, I mean, just like, you know, people getting mixed up with that and those kind of things, I suppose, and how they feel. And then we had the full, the full Tani Mura、uh, main story bit about him finding out who killed his father and dealing with that and、uh, finding out about the corruption and the police and everything else. And now we have all this lovely stuff with Hamazaki and Kiryu. And, you know, Haruka's obvious trust issues. The, this got me wondering how we're going to do this, where, like, Kiryu's going to go to Kamurocho and somehow leave Hamazaki at the orphanage, like, with Haruka around. 
I'm kind of expecting Hamazaki to turn himself in or something like that, or like get some money for a hotel and go stay in the in the city rather than being at the orphanage, given given the kids. But we'll find out next time, I suppose, what happens. Hopefully, there's not sub stories of uh, babysitting and whatnot, because I I really don't have much interest. So. I'm gonna call it here um but i hope you all enjoyed again and i will catch you all i suppose on a uh, monday if you're if you're interested um let me see tell you what um i have no idea what he's up to but uh um since since bobo Kogo was was nice enough to uh to raid me. I'm gonna go ahead and raid over to Yellow Swerve. He's a good dude. He is. And uh, I'll see you all later. Alright, so bye for now.